friends, this is the BG Baker. I'm Maria. Today I'm going to show you how to make a lemon tort. Now, I need to step back just a bit, like a, like about a year, and um, mention something. Um, one of my viewers, Caroline, sweet Caroline, sweet Caroline, um, now watch me say your name wrong, pointed out that she made the lemon cake and it wasn't good. My heart stopped. So I had to dissect that video and I'm looking and I'm looking 100% responsibility. I'm not passing the buck and I'm trying to figure out how in the world it goofed up. I had a friend over, a sweet, sweet girl, and she wanted to help me do the video, which I'm always in for help. I said, okay, well, here's my recipe. Give me the, uh, do the maison en place because she watches my videos and I still love ya. We already spoke. Um, and I think she got the recipes twisted. And so she did the, it was, it was, I didn't double check it. My, my, my fault 100%. So this time I did the maison en place. I'll do the video and then I'm going to um, make it again. Now, the last video, the picture looked like this. Watch. Pretty, huh? Same recipe for this video. Well, <laughs> my recipe for this video, but the, I'm going to make a, a quarter sheet cake and we're going to layer it. Now, anytime you have a cake, um, you can use it. It doesn't have to be just eight inch round cakes or six inch round cakes. You can do cupcakes. You can do um, quarter sheets. You can do rounds. It, any recipe should be able to give you that. Um, angel food cakes are going to be different. Sponge cakes are going to be different. But for the most part, a cake is a cake is a cake. So, um, this one is the lemon cake. And so here's how I made uh, that lemon cake. All right, let's get through this, this together. The flowers go together, cake flour and all purpose flour. You've got your baking powder, your baking soda, your salt. You're always gonna add your dry ingredients and whisk them together so they almost become like one ingredient so that everything mixes really well. And then set that aside. So the eggs, they always say that you add them one at a time, and that's the way to do it. When I put these eggs in, they were cracked. Well, two of them are cracked, so I just, I'm just going to mix them here and then incorporate them, which, by the way, you can always do. So we're going to add the oil, which is our fat, and we're going to mix that with the sugar. And the process for me is almost always the same, always with the fat and then the sugar. If you have butter and you have equal parts of butter and sugar, that's when it can be fluffy. You know when they say mix so fluffy? Well, you're not gonna, this is not going to be fluffy. This is going to be sandy. So when the portions are off, you're not going to get fluffy. So don't, don't worry about it. If it says mix so fluffy, some people do it just by habit. Then you're going to add the eggs again, one at a time. Or like I said, in this case, because they were cracked, I just um, put them in together, which is absolutely fine. And then my goofy self forgot to use a bigger whisk. <laughs> oh, you'll get it. All right, so you're going to mix this. Let me think. Okay, you're going to mix this and make it nice. And this will be creamy. It won't be fluffy, but it will be creamy. You want all the sugar and the um, eggs to mix really well. Not quite dissolved, but you'll see. You'll see it's a lot finer and easier. At this point, we're going to add in the lemon zest. I think for this, I used four, I used the zest of four lemons and about a half a cup. I think I had some seeds on the bottom, so I didn't want to just pour it all in. So it was about half a cup of lemon juice. This is a, this is a, you know, even with all that, it's, it's a very, it's not a tart, tart lemon cake. You got the color right there from the egg yolks. Um, but the flavor in this cake is, is nice and it's nice and subtle, which for me I like because when I pop in that lemon curd, it just makes a great mix. So this is nice and wet and combined and the sugar is getting really dissolved. So I'm going to add flour in by portions. This just gives you a more 
smooth batter when you're done. And you're always going to, um, you know, don't measure it. Just, just eyeball it. You're not going to do it wrong. Heck, if you want to just do it all flour, you could. You're just going to work your arms. <laughs> so you're going to put in, um, I don't know, let's say a third of flour and then a third of the, the milk, cream, butter, uh, buttermilk. Whatever milk you're using, in this case, it is buttermilk. And then back and forth. Another third of the flour. And then another, you get it, you get it. Keep in mind, you can do this in a stand mixer or with a hand mixer. Myself, I just love touching the cake. I It's like I can feel its doneness. <laughs> no, there's nothing like that. Maria, be quiet. Um, I just like, I can feel. I can feel when it's done. <laughs> it sounds creepier than I mean it, but use a stand mixer or a hand mixer if you want. Next, we're going to pour it into pans. Now, I'm just going to use a regular quarter sheet pan um, for for the for this recipe. It's it, for this cake. The same recipe for any other cake. You know, just put it in whatever cupcakes or you. You're not a ding dong. That's what I love about you. So this is going to go in the oven, 285 degrees, for about 45 minutes. Now, for this cake, and only for this cake, because I wanted to try something here, um, I added uh, a touch of the um, Amaretti lemon flavoring. You know I hate artificial flavoring, but this isn't artificial. And I did a whole video on it below on this product, and it impressed the heck out of me. So I don't mind using it once in a while. But this is still a good... Um, lemon color and a good lemon flavor cake uh, but i'm just trying something totally separate that's all i wanted to say so the recipe is not going to include this because you really don't need it i'm just i'm just checking something out okay and the lemon curd which is a video below oh, oh, i mean oh mm, so good just by itself. I made that yesterday, so it's nice and chilled and ready. So a lot of the a lot of work on cakes can be done way ahead of time. Today we're just gonna assemble and play, which is my favorite part. Um, so I want to break down everything I'm doing because I don't want to miss anything for you. Um, you guys are so impressive. I think I'm thorough until I put the video up and you guys come up with all these questions like I didn't even cover that. I didn't even say anything. What a ding dong. <laughs> I know. <sighs> Anyhow. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, so let's go. Let's see. I've got, uh, I'm going to make the sweet lemon whipped cream, which is again, just like sweet whipped cream. But this time I am going to put the lemon uh, flavoring in it because lemon, fresh lemon and whipped cream, they don't play well together. They're, they they don't um, and it just it's just too it's more trouble um, than it's worth it's more trouble and a lot easier for you to be intimidated by it so let's just get rid of that okay we're gonna we're gonna go where you're safe and sound and at a place where you can tackle all these things and again you can do the same thing a tort a tort is just layered cake with fillings in the middle and the fillings can be whipped cream it can be berries it could be jams it could be curds it could be any uh, layer filling layer filling that's that's all that's all it is but the presentation is kind of fun and the way i'm doing this one it's for when i have it's for when i have all right maria learn your english when i have parties and i've got a bunch of and i have a dessert table because I do, and there's choices galore. It's almost like a, it's almost like walking into a um, 
bakery and just picking and choosing what you want, which is exactly what it is. So I'll make two or three cakes in a sheet cake and then I'll cut them and already have them pre-sliced and pre-set um, in like cupcake liners or pretty um, boats or something so that all they got to do is just take that one piece. If they want four or five, they can come and get four or five, but if they don't really like it, then there's really not much waste to it, and which is what I like. So, all right, did you get all that? All right, let's go play. So this is the cake out of the oven. Um, well, not out of the oven, it's been sitting overnight. Very nice. Um, I have parchment paper and I'm gonna just put it on top of a sturdy cutting board. Now, you can use um, a cookie sheet, you can use a, a cake board, you can use whatever you want to that's gonna make, that you have at home and that's gonna make you feel secure. Um, you're gonna see, it's really not that big of a deal and you'll learn a few tricks, I hope. So, um, I'm gonna put it on here, I'm gonna ice it on here, I'm gonna decorate on here, I'm gonna do everything on here and then uh, finish it later. So. That said, this is so moist. Now this, this cake is not as light and fluffy as like say my chocolate cake, but that's in how I intended it. I do have another cake that uh, is a lot lighter and fluffy like that. I'll get to that one, okay? But for this, uh, I like the sturdiness of just this cake, okay? So as you know, I've only lined the bottom part of my pan with a uh, parchment paper. I don't do anything to the top. And you can see how it's separated a little bit, right? You can see that, right? Well, I'm gonna separate it more just to get it. Yeah, usually it should shake out, but it's really moist, so I'm okay with that. And you know it's sure when it shakes out. I, I don't, I don't know, can you see it? You can see it, you, you'll, can you see how different it is now? So there's a pretty good gap. All right, so I'm gonna put the paper on here. This sturdy, it is clean, <laughs> it's just really used. Okay, now, you're thinking, oh no, it's so close to the edge. It's it doesn't it so it doesn't matter. There you go. See, now we're happy. Now I'm going to show you how to make this completely um, a very even cut. We're going to cut it again, and we're going to have four layers here. Let me get my knife. I've had this knife since I first started baking. <laughs> That's a knife. Um, okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it right in half, and it's going to give me a perfectly square cake. Okay, that's it. And then to cut to cut sideways, I'm gonna show you something I think that might help you out. Okay, whenever you are gonna cut a cake, whether it's a quarter sheet, a half sheet, a full sheet, whatever it is, I'm gonna put this back because I don't wanna dirty my hands if I don't need to. So I've got it on a turntable and it's gonna do all the work for me, okay? So I'm gonna hold on tight to it. I'm gonna cut to about the middle and I'm just gonna slice and go back. And then I'm moving the table, keeping everything steady, and just slice and go back. By the time I get to the middle, it'll be done and done. Perfect. So that's that's really easy. A lot of people will use, you know, like um, string. I've, I've done that. I've done dental floss and just whoosh, swapped it across. Whatever trick is going to work for you, that's what we're going to use. Okay, so I'm finding that I love my ovation more and more every time, every time I use it. So I'm going to make some sweet whipped cream. I love this spout. <laughs> I'm gonna make a lot. Not some, in fact, let me just make the whole thing. Oh, 
Okay. Now, I'm just going to fast forward it because you know what whipped cream looks like when it's whipping up. So when if there's something important, I'll stop and make sure to tell you. Now we're going to play. Now I took off the, um, hold on, let me, let me make room here. Okay, so I made the lemon curd uh, yesterday and I took it out of the refrigerator and I just kind of mixed it up because I wanted it, I wanted it creamy, I wanted it spreadable. It is so, <laughs> it's so darn good. All right, Mary, be good. Ugh, I hate those words. All right, let's play. I think I'll use my turntable. If you have a turntable, um, use it when you can, just because it's going to save you, save you trouble. Who doesn't want that? All right, I'm going to set up and we're going to play. I realize when I tell you this, you're going to roll your eyes. It's like, really, Maria? You've been doing this for 100 years and you expect me to? Um, don't be afraid about breaking your cake, okay? If your cake breaks, it's still salvageable. Um, I've got... Four layers here. I'm doing this backwards. I'm gonna pick this up here and put, this is what I'm gonna be working off of. Let me see, I want you to be able to see everything. I don't wanna hide anything from you. All right, so I've got one layer and I'm just gonna plop it down. And again, so if it breaks, okay, don't worry about it. It's all salvageable. The icing is going to be like glue. So I freaked the heck out when I first broke a cake. And I much pudged it together and not a human knew. <laughs> all right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thin layer of icing. And I'll tell you what, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do a border. I'm not going to worry about the borders because we're going to clean those up. And I don't want a whole lot, but I definitely want the glue. <laughs> okay. And the reason I'm doing white is because I want my lemon curd to show. And you don't want too much curd because it'll slip. You've got four layers. You've got four layers, so you don't want um, you don't want slippage. And, and like I said, any you could do this with for Christmas time. What I do is I do a red velvet cake. I do cream cheese icing, and I tint it uh, green. Go figure, right? All right. The next layer is going to go on top. This is a very moist part of the top of the cake, so my hands are really gunky. It's all right. I'm going to wash them and continue.
Okay, <clears throat> so that's the tort. Now comes the fun part. This is where you decorate it. You decorate it here. The choices for decorations are just out of this world. Um, you can either do a smooth, again, same thing that you're doing here with a finer layer or a thicker layer of the lemon curd. Let that firm up. You're gonna put it in the refrigerator for about an hour or two, preferably overnight if you can, but I'm not going to. Um, so once it firms up, we're gonna clean up these edges and we're gonna cut them into the shapes for serving. Um, for this one, I think, I'm just gonna pile on generous amount of whipped cream all the way to the edge. I don't care about the edges. Do want we do want a smooth top though so let's work on that and it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna I'm gonna swirl it actually so I'm going to dollop, dollop, just kind of, just kind of dollop, you get the idea. You get it, right? Okay, so I stuck this in the freezer for about half an hour. Perfect. You can leave it overnight in the refrigerator, chill however you want to. It's just easier to cut um, when it's cold. So this is ready. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut this. And there's a couple of different ways and I'm, I'll try to show you both. Knowing my brain it's gonna kick into one and just probably finish that way. But <clears throat> the most important key to cutting aside from the um, cake being cold, is a good knife. <laughs> I know, I don't expect you to have this, but you have one knife that you, it's your go-to cake knife, use that. You just want nice, clean lines. <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure that everything is even. I'm gonna go straight down. It's still soft in the center. I'm gonna stop right there because I did not get my uh, I did not get my paper in place. Okay, so I'm going to put the, the, I'm not going to say discarded, but the other pieces here that are, well, they are discarded, but they're certainly not going to go to waste, baby. Oh. All right, I'm gonna, I don't know if I can, I don't know how clever I am to try to do this to show you, but clean this after each cut especially when you're getting into the, the meat of it. Yeah, I would say, I would say overnight. Oh, this is beautiful.
All right, so let me just go ahead and finish up showing you what I'm doing. Okay, so you know how I always wait to the end to taste this? This part here that's that's cut over, that's my favorite part because everything's nice and thin and and just just perfect. So I'm gonna dig in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. The cake is subtle lemon, but that lemon curd wakes you up, baby. So let me go ahead and cut the rest of this and then I'll plate it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, let me see, I'm going to cut it in the middle, straight down the middle. I changed knives because I don't think it was very fair that I use that knife when you guys probably don't have it. So this is just one of my, <laughs> this is a paring knife. This is a beauty. Um, it's clean. So, I mean, it's clean, like, like it's going to give me clean lines. So I'm just going to cut it right in half. And after every swipe, I'm going to clean it again, just because I want these lines clean. Now with this swirl, it's not going to matter so much, but usually what I do is I put a nice thick layer of the lemon curd and make it look like glass. So with that, the, the lines are going to, they are going to matter. So I'm going to take this and this is for like a party. Okay. So if I'm going to be preparing for a party, a uh, dessert table, I use either these, um, wax paper tissues or cupcake liners and just empty them. Uh, not empty them, but just a, a clean cupcake liner, flatten them out, put the cake on it and fold it, or just lay it on as you like, whatever, whatever works best for you. And I want them, uh, individual servings, you know, cause like I said, when I do my dessert bar, there's so much to choose from. So I want little bits of everything. They can come back and get 10 pieces if they want, but Okay. Is that pretty or what? So, like I said, you can put them right on here, fold it up on both ends, and then you've got a nice individual kind of dessert tray. You can also just plate them just, just like this. Um, you know, you get it, you get it. I'm just gonna finish this up. Okay, what can I say? Sometimes I hit the nail on the head and sometimes I fail. <laughs> I did the video cutting all these pieces and setting them up and I didn't turn the video on. Well, there it is. <laughs> I just need some cake. I think that's it. So that's a really cute presentation. So if you have this and a carrot cake and a cream cheese cake and just your blah, 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 you get it. Um, it makes it easy. They can take one and no mess. So I like that part. Okay, my friends, that's it. Until next time, happy baking. Ah, oh, that was fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe.